to all those fellow neurosurgeons, residents, medical students, and anyone else uh, tuning in, uh, thank you. Uh, welcome uh, to the first annual Keyhole Approach to Brain Tumor webinar uh, uh, organized by the Seattle Science Foundation. Uh, it's a great honor to be part of this. It's a very professional uh, organization and I'm hoping that it will be seamless, this pre these presentations. The first thing I'd like to do is to introduce you to my faculty. Uh, this is a no bullshit sort of presentation. I gather people around me who I feel uh, are gonna be very honest with their presentations, who've got a wealth of knowledge and experience. Uh, they're not just colleagues of mine, they're friends. Uh, I've seen them all operate. Uh, I've listened to their talks. I've seen their results. And, uh, and I think you're gonna be uh, thrilled to see their presentations uh, uh, with their uh, 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 results as well as their honesty uh, in, uh, in uh, uh, this Keyhole uh, seminar. Uh, Nikolai Hoff uh, is from Germany. Uh, he has the reputation of being the youngest chairman of a program in Europe. Uh, when he, uh, well, just after he finished his time with uh, Axel Panetsky. Uh, so really no one uh, has better qualifications to talk about keyhole approaches to brain tumors than Nikolai. Uh, a great gentleman, a good friend, uh, a great surgeon, and uh, that's Nikolai. Uh, Paul Gardner, not, not, uh, not such a good gentleman, uh, a, a great friend, but, but uh, <laughs> uh, a bit of a rogue, uh, not only in his personality, but also his uh, surgery. Uh, you know, I don't know how long I've known Paul for, but uh, Paul, uh, again, is a skillful surgeon. I, when I watched him operate, I thought, oh, God damn, someone's better than me. Uh, his knowledge of anatomy, his appreciation of 3D anatomy, uh, his approach to endonasal skull-based surgery is uh, uh, in, uh, in, well, you know, it, it can't be uh, equaled. Uh, and so it's a great honor for him to join us as well. Uh, Dan Kelly needs no introduction. Dan is a prolific uh, writer and uh, I'm sure you've all seen his articles. Well, his articles is b are based on uh, truth uh, and I love the way when you read them, you know exactly that he's presenting uh, his experience uh, unfettered uh, and uncensored. Uh, he used to be an academic, but then he sold his soul to the devil, went into private practice. Uh, and now he's at the Pacific uh, Brain and Spine Institute in Santa Monica uh, that he basically personally put together. Uh, and now he's gathering people around him who are better than him, which uh, has elevated him to a great status. Uh, but uh, he's the uh, genius and the mastermind behind uh, that institute, which is now, I think, the premier institute in California. Uh, Mike Chagru needs no introduction, probably the world's uh, most uh, authoritative figure on the concept of connectomics. So Mike was my fellow, I think 10 years ago uh, from UCSF uh, with an amazing pedigree in neurosurgery uh, from Columbia and New York to UCSF. Uh, and I wanted to keep him in Australia, but unfortunately he had a great offer back in Oklahoma, went back and set up a brain cancer center that turned a without offending anyone, a fledgling brain cancer center of only about 60 patients a year to 650 patients a year by the time he left. So he's a power force, he's dynamic. Uh, he, uh, I had the great honor of him coming back and joining me two years ago. And he's got so consumed by his knowledge of connectomics that he uh, now uh, almost does it full time. Uh, so we're gonna be thrilled to hear from him. Uh, May I just preempt our talks by saying it's two o'clock in the morning here in Australia. So if I fumble over my words a little bit, it's because uh, I'm half asleep still. Um, so hopefully by the time I start my talk, I've woken up. In fact, I need a glass of water. So what, what I might do is uh, uh, when the video is playing, there's a video in the first talk, I'll just sneak off and get a glass of water so that, uh, so that I can appear more coherent. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to start off with an introduction, uh, give a few talks. Uh, the faculty are all going to sort of uh, mute themselves and hopefully they'll mute their videos as well so we don't have to see their ugly faces. Uh, <laughs> and, then, uh, and then as uh, their talks uh, uh, come through into the schedule, they'll come on board again. Uh, but they will be around, so please feel free to stop us any time. Uh, Linda, that's your job, of course. If there's any burning questions and people want us to address them urgently, uh, then I'm happy to stop the talk. You know, this is a very informal sort of presentation, um, and uh, feedback is essential. And if you think we're saying something that's profoundly wrong or that needs explanation, then we're happy to stop and give that explanation. 